Hi everyone, thanks for joining this uh, free webinar delivered by Circle Cloud where we'll look at an overview of Azure Virtual Desktop. Um, just a couple of things to point out before we jump in. Uh, you can't see anyone's faces. Um, this is obviously hosted on Microsoft Teams. So um, for those of you that have never actually attended a live event on Microsoft Teams before, there are a couple of differences. So like I say, you can't see anyone's face. Um, and everyone is on mute. Uh, and the reason for that is just so we can keep the material quite concise. We've got a lot to pack in. And um, so we just want to keep the flow going. Uh, so we don't want to sort of encourage any offshoots or any dialogues throughout. Um, but what we have done is you'll notice that there is a questions panel down the right hand side of your screen. So if anything pops up where you think oh, it would be interesting to know a little bit more about that, or if you just got any questions at all about the product, pop them in there. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll pull a report after the event, whereby, where, which will be essentially be everyone's questions, we'll answer them and we'll send the full Q&A out to everybody. Uh, like I said, that'll come after the event. So uh, all your questions will get answered, but it just won't be uh, during the this hour uh, in, in which we'll be presenting. Um, so there'll be obviously quite a lot of people on the webinar, so it's who, who some will know, some won't, and um, some won't know Circle Cloud, are, so they certainly, certainly won't know who uh, myself and Tom are. So I think it's necessary just to do um, a couple of brief introductions. So that's me, Andrew Ballantyne, um, Sales and Marketing Director. Um, I've been with the business since 2015, so in the very early stages when we were just kind of getting off the ground. Uh, I initially joined in a sales capacity, so eff effectively a sales consultant. Um, and it was it's, it's, at that point, it was to help the business grow um, in, during its initial period. And we did that and we, we had a, a, good, a good stretch of growth during that time. Uh, and then since then, I've uh, moved on to various projects, uh, including just what you can see on the screen there, some uh, legal stuff around our terms and conditions and, and some stuff around security and compliance, uh, namely uh, the uh, our ISO 27001 certification, which is a project that I managed uh, on behalf of the business. Um, and then since then, I went full circle background into sales. Uh, I moved into the sales and marketing director role in December 2020 and um, to help drive the business on its next period of growth. And uh, yeah, so far, so good. So that's me and uh, I'll let Tom introduce himself. Thanks, Andy. Yeah, my name's Thomas Robertson um, and I'm, like it says on the screen, I'm the technical director in Total Cloud. And I'm one of two people who founded the business back in 2013, and my focus is mainly on the the, the, well, the technical operations of the business, really. So, um, looking after both our implementations and architectural side of the business, and also our managed services um, side of the business, I'm responsible for both those. And my background is is very technical, so it's within sort of architecture of cloud computing, building a uh, cloud um, environment. Previously, now managing a team that does that. Um, and also in networking as well, uh, prior to sort of the, the Microsoft cloud movement over the last sort of 10 years. Cheers, Tom. Uh, yeah, so I'll just give you a very brief overview of what we're going to cover today and um, just to give you an idea of timings and what you're going to, what essentially what you're going to come away with, what we're going to look at. Uh, so the webinar will probably take between uh, 40 and 50 minutes. Uh, like I say, we've kept it quite concise and we've focused on the information that, that will matter to you, uh, essentially, uh, to get you started with uh, Azure Virtual Desktop. Um, so what we're going to do is just after this slide, give you a quick introduction to Circle Cloud, because like I say, there'll be a lot of people on the webinar who have never worked with us before, not familiar with us. So I'll do that. Uh, that will be brief. And then after that, um, Tom's going to take over and take you through the main chunk of the webinar, which is why people are here today. And he's going to look at those uh, components that you can see on your screen there. And um, so we're going to look at uh, RDS, RDS uh, versus Azure Virtual Desktop uh, from an architectural standpoint. Um, we're going to look at the user experience and we're going to look at desktop management. Then we're going to go through some uh, pricing and unlicensed stuff just to, again, just to put you in the picture as to what the sort of prerequisite requirements are. Uh, and then we're going to, uh, then I'll sort of take over again and just I'll take you through what comes next. Um, yeah, so that's that. Uh, so just to take you through Circle Cloud as a business. And um, so that's this essentially in a nutshell who we are. We're a an ISO 27001 certified organization. Uh, we're Microsoft specialist partners uh, and we specialize in the design, implementation and ongoing management of the following products. We keep things pretty simple. Uh, so firstly, Office 365, uh, a product that most people will be familiar with. Uh, it's uh, Microsoft's uh, software as a service product suite. Um, it's typically known by IT users for its uh, cloud versions of uh, what we would consider tr the traditional cloud, uh, Microsoft cloud products. 
such as Exchange, Word, Excel, all those things that we're really familiar with. Um, so I won't go too deeply into that. We have done a webinar on Office 365 previously. We'll be doing them again uh, in the months to come. So keep an eye out on the website for that. Uh, but the point I leave you with on uh, Office 365 is because of the experience we've got with the product, um, we, we tell people that it does a lot more than what you're probably probably doing with it already. It's a very feature rich, feature rich product rich uh, product suite. Um, so we do a lot of work with things like conditional access and uh, Azure information protection. Uh, and then there's Microsoft Teams, another one of our core products. Uh, Microsoft Teams is also part of the 365 product suite. Um, people are now more familiar with Microsoft Teams because of uh, the recent drive towards remote working off the back of the pandemic. Uh, and many of us will know it uh, pr primarily really for its collaboration features. So uh, we're talking, you know, the instant chat, the sharing of documents, etc. Some of you might use it for uh, managing projects. Uh, but it is much more than that. And um, when I say that, we, we actually use it. It's our telephone system solution. So Microsoft Teams has, has really advanced from a telephony perspective over the last two or three years. Um, and uh, so it's, we actually offer it as our VoIP solution. Uh, and it's a really comprehensive voice solution now. Uh, again, we've done a webinar on, uh, a webinar on that in the past, a uh, couple of months ago, and that is also on our website as a blog. So you can see that. And we're doing one again next month. Uh, and finally, of the three products, there's Microsoft Azure, um, which will obviously, you know, that's the sort of founding, the founding product for this webinar. Uh, predominantly a, 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 an infrastructure as a service uh, product, but obviously we'll touch into it as a product as a service for Azure Virtual Desktop as well. Uh, Tom will take you through that. It's a very big product, capable of a lot and very malleable. Uh, and we've done lots with it. So and everything from simple cloud to cloud backups through to hosting entire server infrastructures. Um, but yeah, so uh, this particular uh, obviously webinar is about Azure Virtual Desktop. So we'll focus on that particular element of Azure uh, going forward. Um, and just a, a, a final bubble there that's worth mentioning is um, we are Microsoft Gold Cloud Platform Partners and we were the first company um, founded in the Northeast to become Microsoft Gold Cloud Platform Partners. Um, what you'll notice is there are a lot of gold cloud, uh, an ever increasing number of gold cloud platform partners, it seems now. And um, so I suppose that does pose the question, what makes us different? I think it's a fair question to ask. And um, so what you'll probably find is a lot of what, what we sort of consider traditional IT companies are now retrospectively incorporating the Microsoft Cloud into the strategies and their operational models. Whereas with us, it's what we've done since day one. Uh, almost since almost 10 years ago when we founded and it's what we still do today. So those products there that you see on your screen, we've worked with those since day one. And uh, so that's why we're quite well positioned to speak to you uh, about these products. Uh, so what will you come away with uh, today from? Um, so this is the final slide from me, so I'll keep it very brief. So essentially this will be a question that's at the forefront of a lot of your minds. Uh, essentially, what is the difference between Azure Virtual Desktop and RDS? Because this is quite a big consideration to make from an IT perspective. Um, an understanding of what the user experience looks like. Again, quite important that, um, that you get a look and a feel of, of the product and how, how your users would be uh, in, interacting with the product essentially. And number three, an understanding of how Circle Cloud can help you make the transition to Azure Virtual Desktop if stroke when you choose to.